Have been all it. here, so a quality field in lane one. Isabel Pedersen from Norway, 27 years old now, former world junior and youth champion. Sixth here last year, didn't make the final at the Europeans in Berlin, slightly surprisingly. And here is the reigning Commonwealth and African champion, Toby Amuzan. Still only 22. In lane three from Belarus, European, European champion. champion from Belarus, Elvira Herman from Berlin last summer. Set two national records last year. And here is the former world champion from Jamaica, Daniel Williams. That was back in Beijing in 2015. She took silver behind Amuzan in uh, the Commonwealth Games. Bianca McNeil then, formerly Bianca Rollins, of course, the Olympic champion, instantly recognisable, and the Diamond League champion from last year. Alongside her in six, Sharika Nelvis, hugely talented American, She's had a brilliant winter, world number one, indoors with 785 over 60 metres, five times a Diamond League event winner. Her teammate in lane seven, Christina Clemens, Took silver at the World Indoors in Birmingham in 2018. In eight, Jasmine Camacho Quinn from Puerto Rico, dual nationality, US and Puerto Rican citizen, born in South Carolina, twice an NCAA champion, and completing the lineup in lane nine. Again for the USA, Amber Hughes set a lifetime best in South Carolina just three weeks ago. But Bianca McNeil in five, the fourth fastest of all time, 12.26, her winning time. Kenny Harrison, the world record holder, not here this year. She was the winner here last year, so a chance for Brianna McNeil. But it'll be a very, very tough field here. So from right to left again, Pedersen Norway in one, Amuzan the African champion in two, Herman the European champion goes in three for Belarus, Williams the former world, world champion goes in four, McNeil, standout athlete on paper at least in five, the Olympic champion, Nelvis in six for the USA, Clemens USA in seven, Camacho Quinn Puerto Rico in eight, and Amber Hughes also from the States goes in lane nine. Meeting record 12.35 set by Jasmine Stowers. Well, the way they go, good start from uh, Sharika Nelvis. Also going well is uh, Daniel Williams. McNeil starting to make her way through, but a uh, great start from Daniel Williams. Also going well on the far side is uh, Amuzan, but it's Williams who's coming through. Winning time, 12.66, just outside the meeting record. A slight tailwind, just under the track. Well, this women's 100-meter hurdles, really strong field here. The meeting record, 12.38 by Brianna McNeil, the 2008 Olympic champion, and that was here last year in 2018. Put a couple of late additions to the field in lanes one and lane eight, but the uh, lineup does include Kenny Harrison. There she goes in lane five, the world record holder from London 2016. Effie Boons of uh, the Netherlands goes in uh, lane one. No performance from her this year. Cindy Rolida goes in lane two, world championship silver medalist in 2015, and uh, twice European championship bronze medalist, including last year in Berlin for Germany. Elvira Herman of Belarus, the reigning European champion. What a shock that was, her gold medal last year. World junior champion back in 2016, but she came of age in Berlin. Sharika Nelvis, eighth in the world championships back in 2015. She's the eighth quickest athlete in history, but no major medals from major global championships. She's run 12.70 this year. That was to win in Osaka 10 days ago. Kenny Harrison won here in 2014 and 2016. She's going for, well, a hat trick if you just want the number of wins. The world number one, she had a great run in the Caribbean at Bamaholt on the 18th of May and she ran 12.47. Toby Amuzan, the Commonwealth champion from Nigeria, only 22, she goes in sixth. Second in Doha to Danielle Williams in her season's best of 12.73. There's uh, Nadine Bissa of the Netherlands, World Indoor Championship bronze medalist last year, and a finalist in London 2017, finished in seventh place there, and she's reigning European Indoor Champion from Glasgow back in March. And Seymour, Dedra Seymour of Bahamas, 24 yesterday, to the left of picture in the all black, goes in lane eight. Oh, so, Sharika Nelvis, to the right of picture, goes in lane four. 
in good form. Third in Doha in 1278, and then improved in Osaka to her season's best uh, 10 days ago or so ago with 1270. But she is a 1234 performer, so any uh, little crack of daylight given by Kenny Harrison here, there's a very, very worthy competitor alongside it. Kenny Harrison goes in five. Boone's in one, Roloda in two, Herman in three, Nelvis in four, Harrison in five. Well, good start there from Kenny Harrison, really good start too from Amuzan, third to left, but now Kenny Harrison getting into a running, although Sharika Nelvis really making a work for this one. Now Kenny Harrison forces himself into the lead over the final two or three flights, wins there by a metre or so. 12.52, that is pretty good. I mean, oh, there's a 1.3 win behind them, but the temperature here in the stadium, it's got to be no more than about 11 or 12. And 12.5, Steve, wow, that is very quick indeed. And she was made to work for it. She's the only athlete this year that has gone quicker than that. That was with her season best of 12.47 from uh, 11 days ago. But uh, all credit to Sharika Nelvis for making her really work for that one. And Nelvis in second place, her reward is the season best of 12.69. Yeah, as ever, Harrison good, first couple of hurdles, and then realizes she's in a race, and Nelvis is right there until three out, all of a sudden. All that Harrison does is, you know, she's got this great cadence, this great turnover, so quick with her feet, and when you see the start here, always a decent start, gets out well, Nelvis has uh, started pretty well. By two hurdles in, Harrison is in the lead, but as I said, it's that last three hurdles, she just doesn't falter, she doesn't fade keeps it going, keeps that rhythm, keeps the speed, doesn't lose speed, just a little clip there on the last hurdle, no more than that. And as you said, Tim, 12 mix, 12.52, look pretty comfortable, but again, we'll reiterate, in these conditions, that is very good indeed. 12.52 for Kenny Harrison, the winner, then Nelvis 12.69 is season's best, Amazon 12.85, and Roller to the Germans. Said the women's 100 meter hurdles, resplendent in the sunshine, the Bislett Stadium, a newly laid track as well. If you've been saying how quick it feels, you can see the quickest time in the world there, 12.40. So with a slight following wind here, who knows what we might see. Isabel Pedersen on the inside. She was uh, they used a kind of 1980s throwback style for all the poster campaign for these championships. So she did an aerobic style fitness outfit. One of uh, Norway's best female athletes. Nadine Visser was in that meeting in Hengelo in front of her home crowd the other day, finished fifth, former uh, multi-eventer. Now, will Christina Clemens win this? Former Christina Manning. Uh, married Carl Clemens, the 400 meter runner. And uh, Brianna McNeil, formerly Brianna Rollins, the Olympic champion, beaten in Hengelo. Sharika Nelvis in good form, one in Osaka, third in the, oh, sorry, second in the Stockholm Diamond League. Elvira Herman, the surprise European champion last year in Berlin, 21 year old from Belarus. And talking about surprises, remember when Cindy Rowley won the silver medal at the World Championship, surprising everybody, the German. Only the bronze when she was the favourite to win that European title last year in Berlin. And Naziri of Finland in lane eight. So Christina Manning's been in cracking form. Normally you'd say any race, most races, that Brianna McNeil would start as the favourite. Poor start, poor performance in Doha in the Diamond League when it was much warmer. And she only finished seventh there. Uh, as I said, was beaten in Hengelo. And both of these, I'm sure, would look at least certainly for Brianna McNeil, a season's best still, 12.76. Clemens has, uh, did in Turku the other night, run 12.58, when it was probably a little chillier than it is here. So Clemens in three, McNeil in four, Sharika Nelvis in five. Second. False start from McNeil, clearly. 
now. She's having problems. I don't know if you remember that performance in Doha, Tim. It was a really odd run from her. It wasn't a good start. She never really got going. I just wonder whether she's been having problems uh, with her starting. But there you can see lane four. That's a clear false start. Yeah, that's a real shame. I'm afraid she's gone. She's not been running badly, Steve. I mean, I know she's a 12-2 athlete. Indeed, one of the quickest in history. But watch fourth and right there. Massive wobble in the blocks. And that's a strange run athlete of her experience. She's been running 12-7s in Nanjing and then in Hengelo on Sunday. Although she was beaten in Hengelo, but I'm sure she will uh, be gone. Yeah. Oh, Lane four. She's shaking her five. head. I don't really know why, Tim. That's about as blatant a false start as you as you're going to see. So no, she I'm should accept it. Really she just, she looked off balance. You know, she almost was toppling into a start there. Uh, I'm not sure why she needs to go and have a look. So we lose the uh, one of the stars of this event. The Olympic champion has gone. So Christina Clements in lane three, Sharika Nelvis in five, with the European champion Elvira Herman in six, will be the favourites now. Vesso will be hoping to try and produce something. Her early season form hasn't really shown that. Neither has Roleda. Second in Stockholm, Nelvis third in. Doha, can she get the win now? Manning, excuse me, Clemens as she is now, <laughs> must get that right. The athlete in form though, I suspect. Lane three, Clemens, four empty now, Nelvis in five. Clemens just a little wobble at the start as well. Sharika Nelva's got the better start there, but Clemens is right with her. Just the two of them almost strike for stride here. Nothing to choose between them. Clemens maybe just having a slight advantage and may just get this on the line. Clemens wins 12.67. Hardly anything to choose between the two of them all the way down there. Nelva's definitely got slightly the better start, but once they're into their running, it was really only Hurdle nine, maybe, where Clemens just started to ease ahead and won it in the end by five hundredths of a second. Well, Clemens, their third to right, Steve, very, very quick between the barriers. She's small, she doesn't have to change adjustment and shape very much at all for the barriers. The legs are quick in between. She ran superbly to win in Turku a couple of nights ago, 12.58, and she's in that sort of groove, that technical groove, where it's flowing, it's coming almost effortlessly. And to beat an athlete to Sharika Nelvis fairly handsomely, 12.69 to 12.74, that's a reasonable sized margin for sprint hurdlers. Very, very impressive indeed. And Nelvis worked hard, she didn't do much much wrong, just not quite as quick between the barriers. Yeah, I was reading, she was talking a lot about how you know, she had a serious Achilles injury all the way back in 2013, and she said it took until 2017 before she felt she was really performing. For European runners in that one. And we can uh, take a look at the athletes now being introduced to the crowd as they come out into the arena. So, Clemens is first out. World Indoor Championship silver medalist at 60 meter hurdles, the American. She goes in lane six. Kolacek will go in lane eight. She was sixth in the European Championships last year. This is her first Diamond League race of the year. She's been doing smaller meets, but a big personal best a couple of weeks back, three weeks back in the middle of June. Sharika Nelvis, well, the uh, first of the really big names, eighth in the World Championships back in 2015. She has a best of 12.34. Very consistent is the American. Third in Doha, second in Stockholm, second in Oslo, one in Boston. Seymour, who goes here. In lane one, that was due to be Pamela Dudkovic. There has been a change in the lineup. And Williams, Danielle Williams, the Commonwealth, a silver medalist, will go in lane three. And Brown. Well, Janique Brown, this is the new name on the scene. The 21-year-old is the world number one. She's ran 12-4-0. And she won the NCAA title in uh, Mexico just recently. World number one, but underwhelming in Luzerne on Tuesday with 13-0-7. And there is 
uh, Kendra Harrison. Harrison, the world record holder, world indoor champion from last year. She won here in... Isn't it? And it's possible that Nir Ali did apply pressure to the blocks. And uh, we, it wasn't just visible in her, her body movement. Anyway, I thought that computer... The information there that came up for start times contradicted what we're now seeing on screen. I thought it suggested Nir Ali had full started. But anyway... Seymour is gone, Ali in two, Williams three, Kenny Harrison is in four, Brown five, Clemens six, Nelvis seven, Kolacek right. in lane eight. This good start there from Kenny Harrison, another really good start too from Janique Brown. Janique Brown centre there of the seven in the black looking strong and also coming through well is uh, near, is, uh, near Ali. Danielle Williams it is and here comes Kenny Harrison taking that one. There are about three or four different leaders in that race, I don't think I've ever seen a 100 meter hurdles race with so much changing of position mid race and through the second half. 12.43. That is mighty quick. It's not as quick as Janique Brown's quickest time in the world this year, but for Kenny Harrison is the season's best. She was second on the world ranking to 12.47. And uh, she kept steady, Steve, throughout everything going on around her. You very rarely see at least three leaders in a 100 meter hurdles race like that. But Kenny Harrison is so quick between the barriers. That world record in 2016 came at the age of 23. She's still in her prime 20s. So there she is in the light blue, third to right. And she had some work to do there to get back. And both the athletes in lane three and lane five faulted either side of Kenny Harrison, who stayed strong. Yeah, Janique Brown gets a great start here right in the middle. And the Harrison, although her reaction time was good, it was just a little bit slow. It's not like her, really. But this is where she comes into her own. Williams is going well but then just starts to fade a little bit as Harrison so quick between those barriers and then gets the momentum off the last two. But you're right, uh, was, um, going, wasn't going her way for a long way, but pulled it back and knew season's best for her. 12.43 looks good. Williams second. And so to the final then of the women's 100 metres hurdles. And it's packed with quality, as we just saw from the, uh, the heats took place earlier today Daniel Williams second left of picture there you would think if she can continue her form from that to heat will be the red hot favorite here now let's take you through the lineup in full Alvira Hammond goes in lane one for Belarus reigning European champion and also won the uh, under 23 title in uh, Sweden last week she goes in lane one instantly recognizable pretty in pink Tiffany McReynolds from the United States, one of the few American athletes here in London this weekend because of the trials taking place next weekend in the United States. Pedria Seymour from the Bahamas goes in three. She was an Olympic finalist in Rio three years ago. Nia Ali then, partner of Andre de Grasse. They had a, a baby together last year. She's the twice world indoor champion and was silver medalist in Rio in 2016 good to see her back Megan Tapper then with that great finishing speed in the opening heat former Jamaican champion won in 1266 in uh, in Padua in Italy this week she goes in lane five Queen Clay formerly Queen Harrison now married to Will Clay good to see her back to 30 years old now 1280 she ran in the opening heat and there is Daniel Williams, maybe still just quietly fuming at the way things unfolded in Kingston a few weeks ago. That 12.41 had an extra little message in it, we both felt. She goes in lane seven. Yvonne Britton, USA, in eight. 12.95, she ran in the heat earlier this afternoon. And completing the lineup, the African champion, Toby Amusan from Nigeria, who ran 12.49, a lifetime best in France this week. She's been fabulously consistent this season. So the women's sprint final over the hurdles, 100 metres hurdles. Herman from Belarus in one, McReynolds, USA two, Seymour Bahamas goes in three, Ali, right of picture there in the blue from USA in four, Tapper Jamaica five, Clay USA six, Williams from Jamaica seven, Britain USA eight, and Amusan the African champion in lane nine. Look out for Williams though. 
third from right of picture. The women's 100 metres hurdles. So the way they go first time, good start from uh, Nia Ali. Also going well is uh, Daniel Williams. Daniel Williams coming through again. And she's, oh, we've got a faller there in lane two. Mid Reynolds has gone, but Daniel Williams takes closer order and she comes through in 12.30. Goodness me, quicker and quicker. And it was on this track, remember, that Kenny Harrison set the world record 12.28 a couple of years ago. And that, at 12.30, is just outside the world record. That was very, very special indeed. 12.41 in the heat. And Daniel Williams, you feel, with an extra little message to the Jamaican selectors there, 12.32. It's come up as there. The fastest in the world this year, bettering the 12.40. Of early this year, 12.40 from Janique Brown from Jamaica. Tim, we've seen two absolutely outstanding runs here from Daniel Williams this afternoon. Haven't we just? Yes, there's only a handful of women in the world in history who have gone quicker than that run from Daniel Williams. She's third to left. Brilliant start there from Tapper, by the way. Uh, in lane five, right in the middle of them, but she's picked up very quickly by Daniel Williams, who blasts through the middle of the race. Big heavy fall there for the athlete over in lane two. But Williams puts big daylight between herself and the rest here. And near Ali in the blue in second, 12.57 a season's best. She's two metres, two and a half metres down. Great dip there from Daniel Williams. It's the world's fastest time. And this track is so quick. I well remember calling the world record here back in uh, 20, was it 2016? 16, yeah. Boy, oh boy, she was gone and hard for the other athletes. You can see near Ali there in the blue, straining for the line there, trying to keep within touch of Daniel Williams, but she was gone, the Jamaican. Near Ali and Queen Clay, second and third for the USA. They'll travel back tonight, I should think, to the USA. Williams there even hits that final barrier, so it wasn't perfect. There's more to come, there's no doubt about that. And to think, Chris, she may not be selected by the Jamaicans for Doha. She's making a very, very strong case for herself and putting the selectors from Jamaica in such an awkward position. Well, they will ignore that performance and the one before it at their peril. 12.32, the fastest time in the world this year. Will she go to Doha? So, lane two, Kenny Harrison, 26 years old, won her first global title in this very city, indoors, last year, 2018. 12.20, that world record from London three years ago. Stephanie McReynolds, her compatriot, 27 years old, also through here as a fastest loser, 12.96 she ran in that heat. In lane four, still only 22 years old, just 22 years old, the African and Commonwealth Games champion, Toby Amuzan from Nigeria. Daniel Williams, very much the form athlete, as Tim was uh, mentioning a few minutes ago, not without controversy either, but blistering in London. Ran 12.41, then 12.32, the fastest by some distance in the world this year, and a real red-hot favourite for Doha. Peyton Chadwick from the United States, the third American so far, 23 years old. She was second in her heat, 12.86. She goes in lane six. Nia Ali, who won that heat, 30 years old now, Olympic silver medalist, twice world indoor champion, now a mother, coming back quicker and getting better and better race by race. Yannick Brown from Jamaica, just 21 years old, was third in her heat in 12.88. She's in lane eight. And, uh, well, book ending with real quality here in this race. Harrison on one end, and here the Olympic champion, Brianna McNeil from Rio, is in lane nine. Real quality. This is a warning to uh, McNeil there in lane nine for delaying the start without a reasonable excuse were the starter's words. Well, that's a rare one, isn't it? I think she appreciated that, and she's still there, but she's been warned. Women's 100 metres final. Sure. Now we're away. Williams, fourth from right, gets off to a great start. Ali also going nicely as well. Kenny Harrison much, much better than in the heat. Williams, though, coming through in the centre of picture. Williams, the inform athlete. She did it in London. She's done it in Birmingham. 12.47 into a slight headwind. Brilliant again from, from Williams. Absolutely outstanding. 
just outside, maybe just on the meeting record of 12.46, held by Kenny Harrison from three years ago. But Williams, no doubt about it, she had those two outstanding performances in London, and she's done it again here in Birmingham. She's equaled the meeting record, 12.46 coming through. Harrison gave it a go, 12.66. That's quite a winning margin, isn't it? Over 100 metres, over the barriers. The African champion, Amuzan, coming home for third. But further proved him that it's Danielle Williams who's the one to beat for Doha. Well, you can say that again. We knew she was world number one coming into this, but boy, oh boy, to take a two metres, a metre and a half out of Kenny Harrison like that through mid-race. You have got to be motoring, and she does, and she dips perfectly at the line there. Kenny Harrison almost looked stunned there by the winning margin of Danielle Williams. She had a great run from lane one. A very slight headwind they're running into there, but to equal the meeting record, a win by two tenths of a second fully over Kenny Harrison, the world record holder. That is a special run from Danielle Williams. Put a slight headwind, a slight tailwind behind her, and she'd have been down in the sub 12 4 territory. That was a big, big run. And it's not a warm day, Chris. You know, it's, it's what, 18, 19 degrees centigrade. There's a slight breeze around the arena. When the breeze picks up, it's almost a little bit chilly. So conditions far from ideal. Well, Williams made light work of that, and of course, added to that the delay, the warning for McNeil, it all added to the tension. But the result, a meeting record equaling performance, 12.46. Daniel Williams from Jamaica coming out on top against all... On your mark. Four, the world record holder in the light blue, centre of picture. Alongside her, Danielle Williams, the world number one, the inform athlete from Jamaica, goes in five. Near Ali USA, six. Herman Belarus goes in seven. Nelvis USA in eight. And Zagre. The Belgian champion goes in lane nine, left of picture. So clear daylight now between lanes two and four. Harrison in four, Williams in five. Set. Good start this time for uh, Williams, the inform athlete. Also going well is Clemens on the near side, but Williams has got half a yard here on uh, Harrison, and she's pulling away here. This is a continuation of the form she's shown over the last few weeks. Brilliant from Williams. Absolutely outstanding, not a breath of wind at all. 12.47, the winning time. That's the fourth fastest in the world this year. She is the fastest with that 12.32 from London. But further evidence that Danielle Williams, who, remember, has been in dispute with her national federation in Jamaica over a false start earlier in the summer. That, thankfully, looks to have been resolved. She will be going to the World Championships in Doha, and she does so as the inform athlete. 12.46. It's a third consecutive victory for Danielle Williams. Well, there's no denying it. She was easily the better on the night. She won by a big margin. I think if the conditions had been better, if it had been a warmer night, then we'd have been down in the 12 threes, and that would have made it extra special. Uh, Kenny Harrison never got close to her, frankly, and uh, Williams uh, continued to pull away through the race. She did get a slightly better start, much better than the first hurdle, 
That put Kenny Harrison there, third from right, under enormous pressure, and she looked fairly ordinary, Kenny Harrison. I mean, she's having a battle keeping the likes of Christina Clements over in lane two at Bay, and uh, indeed in lane six, near Ali, taking third place. But 12.46 for Williams, 12.73 for Kenny Harrison. That is a gulf in sprint hurdling times. Daniel Williams, though. I mean, that is probably one of the quickest times on a cool, cool evening like this there's ever been, Chris. It was a very special performance as the margin between her and the rest makes all too clear. Well, there's no doubt about it. In the last few weeks, Daniel Williams has got up several notches and uh, is the athlete to catch. Williams then, 12.46. Harrison leading a trio of Americans ahead of Ali and Nelvis in third and fourth. So Williams can go to Doha and prepare to go to Doha 